Hello friends, my name is T.S. Sudhir and you are watching Study with Sudhir. Yesterday, the council that conducts the ICSE and the ISC examination for class 10 and 12 respectively put out a press release that was quite detailed. However, there has been a lot of confusion about a few points that I thought I would clarify in this particular video. We try to do that in the live session, but I see a lot of comments still coming uh, on the video asking for clarification. So I thought I'll put out this video and I will speak in both English and Hindi alternately so that both constituencies that understand either of the two languages can follow. So I will talk in Hindi so that all of the questions that you have to take note of the council that the exams were postponed and ISC के जो एग्जाम्स पोस्टपोन हुए थे उसकी बात की गई थी उसमें जितने भी डाउट्स हैं उसका क्लेरिफिकेशन इस वीडियो में दिया जाएगा द फर्स्ट बिग डाउट इज अबाउट व्हाट हैपेंस टू द कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशंस एग्जाम फिजिकल एजुकेशन एग्जाम इकोनॉमिक एप्लीकेशंस एग्जाम योगा एग्जाम नाउ इफ यू सी द नोट देयर इज वन पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम दैट हैज बीन मेंशन एंड दैट इज द ग्रुप 3 इलेक्टिव Group 3 elective covers all these examinations, computer applications, economic applications, environmental applications, home science, physical education, Hindustani music, yoga, drama, cookery and some more uh, subjects. So all these subjects are covered under the group 3 elective. So your examination will definitely take place if you have taken any one of these optional subjects. अगर आपने कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशंस या योगा या फिजिकल एजुकेशन या एनवायरमेंटल एप्लीकेशंस ऐसे कोई भी सब्जेक्ट्स को चुना है ये सारे के सारे ग्रुप 3 इलेक्टिव के कंबाइंड हेडिंग के तहत आते हैं तो इन सभी एग्जाम्स सब्जेक्ट्स का विषयों पर आपकी परीक्षा जरूर होगी तो इस बात पर आप निश्चिंत रहें 6 एग्जाम होंगे आईसीएसई की 10वीं कक्षा के लिए और 8 एग्जाम्स होंगे ISC ki barvi kaksha ke liye. Okay, so first major doubt has been cleared. The other major doubt is to do with this phrase called provisional admission. A lot of students asking what exactly is provisional admission. Now many of you would have secured admission, taken admission to a school for class 11, especially the ICSC class 10 2020 batch. It could be in the ISC stream, it could be moving to a CBC school, it could be moving to a state board school. Now, most schools give you admission subject to a condition and what could be the condition and it could differ from school to school. Some schools may say that if you have passed the board exams, your admission will be confirmed. Some schools may say if you need to get a certain percentage, it could be 80%, it could be 85%, different schools can have different criteria, only then we will be able to confirm this admission. So, you will be given this provisional admission but it will be subject to your final percentage in your board examination. So, let's say for an ex for example, if a school says that we give student admission only to those students who secure 80% in the board examinations and your pre-board tally which may have been the basis for you securing this provisional admission may have been say for instance 78% but they have given you admission hoping and expecting that you would cross 80 in your board examination. So, that depends on your final board tally. So, in case if you are not able to make that 18, your, your admission could well be cancelled. That is the meaning of provisional admission. So, basically nirbhar karta hai ki aapki final board tally kya rehti hai aur uske basis pe schools admission dete hai ki okay, hamara criteria ye hai. Agar aapke with, aap is vidyarthi ko is pratishat se jada marks milte hai, to hum is admission ko pura confirm kar denge. Okay. Also, if you are looking to kind of change your board from ICC to CBSC or a state board, it's a good idea, it will be a good idea even though all schools are shut to get in touch with management, okay, with the management of the schools and at least let them know that you are interested in securing admission to their school and at least find out the procedure to secure the admission because kai sare pradesho mein, vidyalayo mein admission Pure board results aane ke baad hi hoti hai. Admissions take place after the board results are announced. So, you may need to know the procedure and you would do well to get in touch with the school managements on an informal basis and find out the procedure. Okay, so that's as far as the admission part is concerned. One student asked whether the order of the examinations would change because initially geography was supposed to take place I think on the 20th of March and biology was to be the last exam on the 30th of March. 
सो दिस स्टूडेंट वॉन्ट टू नो वेदर द ऑर्डर विल रिमेन द सेम फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग कुछ फर्क पड़ता है क्या डज इट रियली मेक इट डिफरेंस वेदर द ऑर्डर रिमेन्स द सेम और डज इट चेंज फ्रेंकली आई डोंट थिंक इट शुड इवन मैटर you will be given 8 days notice and that's an important part of that notice that once the council gets an idea about when the restrictions on the lockdown will be lifted they will give another 8 days notice uh, and then only announce the dates of the examination that is the first date of the examination will not be less than 8 days after the announcement is made okay i hope that is very clear and this announcement there's another uh, question which many students have asked is what happens if the council decides say around the 10th of may to say okay from the 18th of may these exams will be held now the council so far remember they were silent for an entire month of april first of april ke baad first of may ko hi unhone ek press release jari kiya which means that they wait for the directives of the government so it's highly unlikely that they will make any announcement just before the 17th of may they will wait for the government to decide whether they are going to uh, lift the restrictions they the council has already said in this press release that they will abide by the government's directives on the lockdown so be assured that highly unlikely that any major announcement on this will come on or before the 17th of may it will be just around that time the more important part is that you will not have much gap the exams will be held even on a saturday sunday and in a time period of 6 to 8 days six subjects of class 10 eight subjects of class 12 so there will be no gap except of course in cases where students do not have to give a particular paper for instance agar aap 10th kaksha ke vidyarthi hain aur aapko eight paper nahi dena hoga to us din ko aapko chutti mil sakti hai so that can be a natural gap but otherwise no gap to be given both for class 10 and class 12 students this is a point I, we have been making in earlier videos also that be prepared for a no gap between examination so your preparedness has to be that much better okay also uh, this will mean that you will need to make good use of may now that it has been confirmed by the council that they intend to hold this examinations as the situation is today and also as you realize that from the 4th of may there will be a lot of relaxation and partial relaxation in both the green and the orange zones so the government is slowly moving towards a kind of relaxation of various restrictions throughout the country of course the 130 districts in the red zones continue to be under a state of lockdown okay so make good use of may in order to be well prepared for this class 10 and class 12 examinations now the other thing question when will the dates be announced i just mentioned that it's not possible for them to uh, announce it early on so that's highly unlikely uh, they will make their position only post 17th of may or on or after 17th of may and also i think they will coordinate it with both the cbsc and the hrd ministry so there will be an element of coordination cbsc ke sath bhi aur hrd ministry ke sath bhi one question was asked about how schools in odisha and bengal are closed till mid june how can be how can the exams be held there that's an important question my own sense is that the council will also coordinate with the education ministries in these two states ki agar exams by chance situation bilkul normal ho jati hai 18th of may ke around if they want to conduct the examinations even before say the 10th of june bengal aur odisha ke jo शिक्षा मंत्रालय हैं शिक्षा मंत्री हैं शिक्षा सचिव हैं उनसे एक तरह से कोऑर्डिनेशन किया जाएगा कि किस तरह से एग्जाम्स परीक्षाएं वहां पर कंडक्ट की जा सकती हैं दैट विल सी द थिंग इज दैट वी आर लुकिंग एट अ वेरी डायनामिक सिचुएशन लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव बीन काइंड ऑफ क्रिटिकल वेरी क्रिटिकल ऑफ द काउंसिल फॉर द आई सी एस सी एंड आई एस सी एग्जामिनेशन बट माई पॉइंट ऑल्सो इज दैट इट्स अ वेरी डायनामिक सिचुएशन इट वुडेंट बी पॉसिबल फॉर देम टू प्रिडिक्ट हाउ द सिचुएशन वुड बी ऑन द सेवनटीन ऑफ मे सो आई एम ग्लैड दैट इवन दो uh it was not very proper for them to keep quiet for an entire month finally when they broke their silence they put out this very detailed note so that is something very very important another question which many students have been asking is that uh, could there be state specific examinations that if some states have recovered can some states have their own icsc examination and some states which have not recovered could they have the exams later see this is an icsc examination this is for the entire country so it's possible like in the case of cbsc north east delhi ke not even entire delhi north east delhi which was riot hit in february 
वहाँ के विद्यार्थियों के लिए वहाँ के विद्यालय के विद्यार्थियों की परीक्षाओं को पोस्टपोन किया गया था दैट कुड हैपन बट इन एंटायर सिटी लाइक फॉर इंस्टेंस मुंबई चेन्नई डेली विच आर इन ए ऑल रेड जोन्स लार्ज बिग रेड जोन्स पुणे इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल दैट इफ सच बिग सिटीज आर स्टिल इन ए स्टेट ऑफ लॉकडाउन इट इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल दैट द रेस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री विल हैव देर एग्जाम्स एंड दीज सिटीज विल से आपका बाद में देखा जाएगा द काउंसिल to in my opinion is not likely to do that they will wait for bulk of the country to return to normal almost the entire country to return to normal otherwise they will have to kind of go through this piecemeal process and kab tak ye piecemeal process karte rahenge results will come only in july don't expect the results before july but it is more than likely that your schools could reopen sometime around mid june with of course adequate precautions being put in place if everything of course also depends on if everything is okay in this red zone 130 districts and whether those number of districts in the red zones actually comes down so my final suggestion to you is that having answered most of these queries aapke sabhi prashno ka maine uttar de diya hai jitne bhi doubts maine comment section mein dekhe make good use of me kai vidyarthi kare hamara momentum loose ho gaya hai hame interest nahi hai pariksha ye geography aur biology ko bar bar revise karne mein uh, we don't have the energy to do that you have a choice there is a state of lockdown you cannot move out anywhere so what other better use of time that you can do than to continue to revise do a combination of 10th and 11th is i what i would say and i have said this many times at the end of the day it doesn't help if i give a time table it's for you to kind of work out whether you want to study there is no point mere time table dene se koi fayda nahi hoga unless and until you want to study in the first place right so do a combination of 10th and 11th is what i would suggest and still you can have enough hours in a day to relax some schools even now in the month of may also may be holding online classes i am not sure if everyone is but see it's a challenge not just for students of 2021 batch class 10 and 12 it's also a challenge for those of you who will be moving to class 11 because in that case aapka jo portion hai usko cover karne ke liye samay kam milega and number 2 and i can tell this to you and listen to this very carefully the jump from 10 to 11 in most subjects is very steep so unless you have some kind of early preparation many schools especially for subjects like physics chemistry biology and mathematics they actually conduct bridge courses taki ek tarah se 10th or 11th ka jo gap hai us gap ko bridge kiya ja sake you may not have the benefit of those bridge courses so it will be even more of a challenge for you to actually be able to come to terms with the extra toughness of the 11th class syllabus portion so as i said entirely up to you pura mahina pada hua hai may ka may good use of it baad mein pastane se kuch fayda nahi hai jab chidiya chug gayi khet okay thank you very much for watching all the best to you